2018 Nissan Murano. Today I'll be replacing the wiper blades in this car. It'll be all three of them. So I'll be doing the front, which is the passenger, the driver, and I'll be doing the rear as well. So normally I do this way early in the year. Um, I don't wait for winter to do my wiper blades, but because of all the snow we've gotten and I think we had a weird icing day, ended up damaging one of the wiper blades. I think it was a driver's side, but I decided, well, at 43,000 miles, might as well just do it all. So here are the measurements. This is the style I bought for the front. Normally for every car that I've owned that has two wiper blades in front, usually the driver's side is longer and you'd expect the, the arch of that driver's side wiper blade has to cover is a lot larger. So 26 inches, the passenger side is 18 and then the rear is actually a 12. And make sure you buy a proper, don't just buy any 12 inch uh, wiper blade. The rear uses a special fitting and I'll, I'll show that in a little bit so right now you could go um, the two ways to go about this one you could pull your wiper blades from here take them into the store and measure or you could ask the store people to tell you or you could buy a new one and come here and measure I'm pretty confident about what I'm doing so what we're gonna, we're gonna do is just go ahead and remove these focus seems a little funny on the camera I'll see if I can correct that there you go. So here's, ooh, fancy. Well, not very expensive, like $10 each. Here's an 18. And they do come with instructions as well. So, should have done this a little earlier, but oh, trying to do this as a one time video, real time. So, thankfully, with these cars, you can just lift the wiper arms off your windshield like that and you can do the same thing on the other side it's a really long arm with a very tiny blade so removal here is pretty simple what you usually need to do is let me change the focus okay so usually can you see this little stick over here yeah Th that's a trigger in some of these blades this one is so far out, I think this is one you push out. Some of them require you to push this towards the arm this way. Some of them require you to push them away. And in this case, I think you push this one away like this. Yeah, it feels like it released something. And then just pull this arm, this blade down. There you go. And that's it. So here, out it goes. And so I want you to pay attention to this. See, this is what you call a J-hook, and whenever you buy these blades, they have different styles, but then just make sure when you read the back, it says that it is made for J-hooks. Some are small, large, then you have what's called a pin arm. It says it's going to work either way, but I want you to pay attention to this hole over here. This is what this, the trigger I was releasing, that's what it does. There's a, there's a protrusion. Uh, can you see that? You, yeah, probably can't see very well over here. There you go. And that's what usually ends up hooking into this hole. So that's what I was releasing. So I'll set that down. Do the same thing on the other arm. Push that away. Pull it down. Probably goes way faster if you have both your, arm, your hands working for you. But for the love of you guys, I have to do it this way. Okay, on the way in, this one here is, it looks just a little different, but the principle is similar. So I'm going to set this down, my camera down for a brief moment. And what I'm going to do is right here, just use my keys to flip this thing up. As I said, the whole principle is to somehow hook this into the, into the pin of the J-hook over here that is now out of focus and just fasten it down so I'll pull this up with my key okay and now this is what installation is about on the way in this one here you have to feed the j-hook through like this and then just push it up till something clicks be a little fun doing 
Okay, there you go. I think I got it. Push. Something clicked. There you go. So this one here doesn't have the pin, the trigger that I needed to push out, but then that's why you have this lid thing, this clasp. Let's push it down. Boy, it is. I suppose I need to go a little farther in. Yes, I needed to go just a little further in until you can see these. Your replacement blades will come in different uh, styles, but at least what I wanted to show you was a principle that all you're trying to do is make sure that the J-hook is all the way in and then you want to secure it down there. So that's it. That's all you need to do for the, for the larger one. So let's put this down. Well, it won't go down with the other one there. Uh, as I said, principle is similar here. Instead of fighting with this all the way up above there, I'll carefully set it back down. Bring my camera here. Feed the J-hook through. Pull it back. It didn't really make so much noise, but it's in there. And that's it. So obviously, uh, if this is a kind you have in your car, just remember, pull this up first. They come in different styles, but usually, in my experience, manufacturers tend to like the, the cheaper, the, the, I guess, just depends on when the car was made. But then, usually, you'll find the style, the style that I took out, that's usually what you see. So before I damage my windshield, I need to remember to remove this clear sleeve that was there. Just pull this out perfect and I'll carefully set this one down as well well before I do that pull the sleeve and set it down all right looking good so I'll deal with these a little later but I wanted to make sure that I covered the rear one as well the rear one is a little tricky it is a 12 as you can see 12 inch the number in the middle is usually Thought I had it. Thought I had it, guys. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, perfect. So the rear is actually going to be pretty simple. You've already seen what the front ones look like, and this is the difference. See the rear? It's got a, a bar that goes across the, the two sides of the wiper blade, but it's also got these two protrusions over here. Okay, so pay attention to those. I'll set this up here. This is how you remove the, the rear one. Just pull the, uh, the wiper arm up this way, and then the blade, just swing it out. Thankfully, it's only 12 inches, so it's not too long. You can easily do that. Pull up, and then just pull it out. Oof. Well, thankfully, that is plastic, so it's not like I'll keep hammering it, but that kind of scared me for a second there. So, what I'd like you to see, let's look at it from the top. See this notch over here? And then see this groove over here? Yeah, so this notch is where the bar goes into, and then this groove is where the protrusions go into. So, during installation, well, I guess you could check, make sure that they're compatible. And as I said, I'm pretty confident. What I need to do is come here, Insulation is simple. Just aim. Make sure that this bar goes into the into the notch over there, into the cutout. You probably need to angle it perpendicular to the blade. It's going in like that. All right. So you, as you can see, I can swing it there, and then just swing it back this way, and that's it. That's all it takes to replace your rear wiper blade. So um, this, as I said, is for the 2018 Nissan Murano and whatever that generation covers. So we're talking about cars from 2000 and was it 15? Yeah, 15 through 2020, 2021 at least. And I hope this video helps you uh, replace your blades without too much difficulty. All the best, guys. I'm done. It's too windy and cold out here.
as you guys have seen there I've dealt with two different styles of insulation but I just wanted to let you know that whenever you open these they usually have instruction manuals uh, this one here is an insert that was in there I just guess know enough but I shouldn't have assumed that uh, it would be best for you to at least take it out and read it and it will be, it will be a guide of how to install it so each different wiper blade that you buy each pack will come with its own set of manuals the larger ones the front ones had them in the uh, just told you what type of uh, wiper arm to go on j-hook in this case but the instructions were inside the little rear one did not seem to have any instructions inside but outside on the packet it seemed to be pretty pretty self-explanatory so I just wanted to let you guys know that don't just look at a video and assume that all the, everything you encounter is going to work the same way. At least you, you could just read the manual and then it will give you uh, a better guide.